So if you didn't already have Trust Wallet a while ago, you wouldn't have this option on the bottom that says browser where you can browse different dApps, right? So those are the decentralized dApps that you're allowed to use on the block based on the blockchain, those running on the Binance blockchain. So what you have to do is download the Trust Wallet app. Then you're going to open the Safari browser on your phone, right? So you're going to set up a new wallet. This is a brand new wallet. There's nothing even in it, right? Set up a brand new wallet, open up Safari, and then you're going to want to type this. H, you're going to do uh, trust colon slash slash browser underscore enable in Safari, right? And hit enter. That's going to bring up a pop-up that says, would you like to open the Trust Wallet app? Hit OK to open. Then when you open it up, you're going to have this browser option, the second option down on the bottom of the screen. That browser option gives you access to a bunch of different dApps. <clears throat> so you can scroll down until you find under a popular, it should be under popular for PancakeSwap. And then that brings up PancakeSwap. And then up on the top here, it's going to show up like this. It's going to say connect, right? You hit connect and select the second option down, Trust Wallet. And that'll connect your Trust Wallet to PancakeSwap. That will then allow you to use PancakeSwap's um, uh, exchange. It's a DeFi platform, so they have uh, <clears throat> a decentralized exchange, and you can use it to swap whatever you want. So you would have to send BNB over to your trust wallet, and that BNB would have to be in the format of being on the Binance Smart Chain. So when you're sending BNB from Binance to your wallet address, you would select BSC, Binance Smart Chain, as the network to use to send that BNB. That way it arrives and it's on the Binance Smart Chain. If you don't already have it on Binance Smart Chain, if you already have regular BNB, um, BEP2 BNB in your wallet, you can go and convert it from the wallet side. And you can go from BNB, which is this option right here, and you can convert that <clears throat> by swapping it over to this BNB, which as you can see the label, uh, and that's all you have to do. Once you have it in Smart Chain BNB, you can use it to swap to SafeMoon or any other assets that are available on PancakeSwap that are not available on other traditional exchanges. And there are plenty of them. This particular case, this stems from videos and, and information I've been giving to my private trading group, teaching them how to get SafeMoon because it's, it's hard for people who don't have the knowledge. And one of the reasons why SafeMoon is a good potential trade, even though it's risky, obviously, as, as all of these, these shit coins are, um, is because nobody knows how to buy it. People who don't have the skills um, to do these sorts of things, have no idea how to get into it. So people are texting me and asking me, how do I buy the safe moon that everybody's talking about? A lot of people want to get into it. And as it gets added to normal traditional exchanges, we're going to see the price skyrocket in my opinion. It's still high risk. So hopefully anybody who's getting in is only putting in a smaller amount of money, but it's one of those potential investments like Dogecoin was where, you know, it's a meme coin and it's possible that you're going to lose all your money. So you don't want to invest too much. You put in a little bit that if it blows up and it goes up 10 or 20 X, you're going to make a nice profit, but you're not putting in so much that you're going to get, you know, hurt really badly if it ends up failing. Um, so hopefully that explains how to use it. And uh, that's all you have to do. You can then use Trust Wallet to access anything you want on uh, PancakeSwap. And while you're at it, you can look at some of the other dApps they have. There are plenty of them, including other DeFi apps like SushiSwap. So check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me. The uh, link for my Discord group is in the description below. Feel free to uh, DM me in Discord, and I'll be able to help you in any way that I can. All right, that's it, guys.